The film opens up in Shrubbery State Jail, a greatest level office situated in the southwestern locale of the U.S. It is controlled by a wound superintendent named Bill Chief, known for his awful and perverted approaches to managing the detainees. He is likewise a in-your-face man-eater who is continuously anticipating consuming human meat. In the initial scene, he is joined by his bookkeeper, Dwight Stewart, as they watch a grisly film called The Human Centipede 2. After the film closes, Bill whines that it was extremely exhausting and infantile. Notwithstanding, his collaborator, Daisy, says that she totally adored it. She even goes as far as saying that Bill's film inclinations are bizarre. This incenses the awful superintendent such a lot of that. He goes on a contemptuous tirade, guaranteeing that ladies ought not be permitted to offer their viewpoints. Sooner or later, Bill and Dwight are gathered to a scene, where a prisoner has evidently killed somebody. As they stroll through the halls, Dwight uncovers that their jail has higher turnover, viciousness rates, as well as clinical expenses than some other establishment in the U.S. Remedial framework. He cautions Bill that they should make a move to work on these measurements. Or, in all likelihood they will be supplanted by the lead representative. In any case, Bill totally dismisses his recommendation. After showing up at the location of the attack, they find that one of the jail officials has been cut by a prisoner. For this demonstration, Bill rebuffs him by fiercely trampling his arm. He doesn't stop until the unfortunate man's bone is uncovered. Be that as it may, regardless of this, the prisoner commitments to rehash his activities once his bones get mended. Then, at that point, out of nowhere, every one of the detainees begin affronting him from their cells. They all join in a stunning ensemble yelling that he should be killed due to his horrifying demonstration of brutality to the detainees. While the yelling turns out to be significantly stronger, a goaded Bill attacks them by discharging his firearm carelessly. He likewise shouts as loud as possible that he merits regard. After getting once again to his office, Bill proposes the renewed introduction of middle-aged torment strategies. Furthermore, records some of them. Not long after, Daisy goes into the room conveying a bundle for Bill. What's more, Dwight gets some information about its items. Bill uncovers that it is a container of exceptionally imported dried female organ pickles, which he consumes for extra strength. Not long later, Bill gets a compromising call, cautioning him that a passing crew is coming to kill him. This makes him alarm, so he hurriedly locks his entryway and conceals under his work area. He accepts that the call is genuine this time, suggesting that he has been undermined previously. Dwight, notwithstanding, remains undeterred and gets back to the number. An official on the opposite end illuminates him that one of the detainees settled on a trick decision utilizing a phony telephone number. At the point when Bill learns of this, he is overcome with fury and orders the officials to hold the prisoner in authority. As discipline, he decides to ruthlessly waterboard three containers of bubbling water over the casualty's head. Soon thereafter, the lead representative shows up to talk about the consuming issue of the jails. Raising viciousness, he arranges Bill and his bookkeeper to stop it and cautions them that they will be terminated assuming they neglect to do as such inside the following 14 days. Angrily, Bill releases an outburst of obscenity at the lead representative as he leaves. Incapable to contain his disappointment, regardless of the lead representative's admonition, Bill stays obstinate and enduring in his craving to keep up with command over the jail and force his own kind equity. As a feature of his turn techniques for discipline, Bill orders Dwight to send the detainees out into the intense intensity of the yard. Not surprisingly, the prisoners are boisterous and rowdy, disregarding Bill's orders over the bullhorn. Notwithstanding, when he declares that one of them will be decided to go through maiming, the greater part of them fall quiet. He then chooses the prisoner, who had recently spoken terrible of him, and continues to do the severe demonstration of mutilation himself. In the wake of finishing the horrifying technique, Bill cleans up with the blood of the person in question, showing his absolute absence of regret and bent feeling of fulfillment. He even goes on to consume the casualty's gonads, thinking of it as a wellspring of energy. In the accompanying scene, Bill visits the detainees who are getting clinical treatment in the facility, alongside the one he maimed himself. As he analyzes the prisoner, he illuminates the specialist that they will direct mass maiming on all prisoners from the following day. Soon thereafter, Dwight proposes an answer for work on the jail's horrifying maintenance. What's more, brutality rates to Bill. He proposes sewing every one of the detainees together mouth to butt to structure a gigantic human centipede, which would act as a definitive hindrance to wrongdoing. Dwight additionally uncovers that Daisy has addressed the movie Heads of Human Centipede 2, who affirmed that it is restoratively precise. Be that as it may, Bill considers the thought unthinkable, so he irately ends Dwight from his situation. In reprisal, the last option heaves obscenities at Bill prior to withdrawing his office. This incenses the perverted superintendent such a lot of that he snatches his bullhorn and heaves a wide range of put-downs and slurs, despite the fact that nobody is available to hear him. 
A short time later, Bill has a frightening bad dream wherein he is encircled. Also, attacked by the very prisoners he has mishandled and tortured. In his fantasy, he argues for leniency, showing weakness and shortcoming, however his sobs for help fall. On hard of hearing ears as he is fiercely taken care of by the prisoner he had recently emasculated. The following morning, Bill awakens to the news that Tom Six, the head of, the human. Centipede 2, is showing up at the jail. Dwight likewise returns and makes a last request for Bill to consider his thought for a human centipede as a method for preventing wrongdoing and viciousness in the jail. He vows to leave his place of employment himself on the off chance that it doesn't work. Upon Tom's appearance, the conversation about the human centipede unfurls. Tom presents a definite report ready by a specialist from Amsterdam to show the clinical precision and achievability of the centipede thought. The jail specialist inspects the report and affirms its legitimacy, further making sense of how the centipede could function. This at last persuades Bill and he says, okay. In the following scene, Bill chooses to show the detainees the past two human centipede films as an advance notice for what is to come. When the film closes, he goes into the room and unveils that every one of the detainees will be exposed to a similar strategy. This disclosure causes a prompt ruckus as the detainees begin responding brutally. They pursue Bill and Dwight to their office where Daisy is beaten oblivious. Dwight rapidly calls the outfitted troopers as in crisis reinforcement while Bill escapes by leaping through of the window. At last, the reinforcement shows up and figures out how to crowd every one of the detainees set up. When the circumstances quieted down, Dwight tracks down Bill and illuminates him regarding Daisy's extreme wounds. Be that as it may, Bill is just worried about definitely standing out for himself. He then, at that point, strolls out into the jail yard and reports that it will end up being a horrendous experience for everybody. Afterward, Bill starts his arrangement to transform the detainees into a monster human centipede. He goes from cell to cell, sedating every prisoner and afterward savoring seeing the gatekeepers diverting them. The scene then moves to the clinical ward where Bill makes sense of the itemized strategy for the specialist. During the activity, the specialist specifies that one of the detainees has dangerous the runs, to which Bill joyfully proposes joining him to the detainee he had mutilated before. In addition, contrary, detainees are shot and killed during the cycle, as they don't fit the essential prerequisites. Soon thereafter, Bill and Dwight visit Daisy, who is currently in a state of extreme lethargy. Dwight proposes taking her to a superior emergency clinic, yet Bill demands keeping her near him. The following day, Bill is anxious to guarantee that the human jail centipede happens in the yard where the lead representative can observe it during his visit to the jail. He teaches his bookkeeper to make the fundamental courses of action. Overpowered with energy, Bill and Dwight enjoy a piece of pretending, with Bill professing to be the lead representative and saluting himself on the thought. Notwithstanding, Dwight advises him that he was the person who initially concocted the thought. Later on, Tom shows up at the jail to examine the activity of the human centipede. While visiting the cells, the gathering runs over a deranged prisoner who is eating his own fecal matter. What's more, craving to be important for the centipede. Bill is irritated and promptly shoots him dead, as he doesn't believe that anybody should get delight from this peculiar discipline. Subsequently, the threesome returns to the working room where the medical procedure is underway. Tom looks as the death row prisoners are being ruined and sewn together for this alleged unique task. He becomes disgusted and spews because of the terrible sight. A couple of days after the fact, the lead representative revisitations of the jail to observe that Bill and Dwight are looking incredibly satisfied with themselves. He asks how they have made such an exceptional change in their demeanor, to which Bill makes sense of that they have achieved something extraordinary and special. The lead representative is then prompted a huge yard where a 500-man centipede is shown before him. Bill is very glad for his creation, however Dwight is crushed when he tracks down that Daisy has been coincidentally sewn into the centipede. What's more, they have likewise made a human caterpillar by stitching together death row prisoners and those with life sentences. Notwithstanding, Dissimilar to the human centipede, these detainees' appendages have been severed, delivering them stationary and looking like a caterpillar. The lead representative is totally shocked by what he witnesses. Following this, they take him to the center room where a detainee whose jail sentence has been finished is remaining. Bill makes a move to grandstand the post minor, wounds the detainee's support, suggesting that it is a sympathetic method for rebuffing them. In any case, the lead representative is shocked by what he sees and concludes that Bill and Dwight ought to be rebuffed with capital punishment. Detecting the risk, Bill endeavors to move the fault to his bookkeeper, however the lead representative is having none of it. When he leaves, Bill understands the weightiness of the circumstance. Also, considers committing the unimaginable. The following second, he adjusts his perspective and turns the firearm towards Dwight, faulting him for everything. In any case, similarly as he is going to pull the trigger, 
the jail specialist strolls in and starts snickering at their bombed endeavor. Bill, loaded up with rage, shoots the specialist and kills him on the spot. Then again, the lead representative, after some examination, gets back to the jail with an surprising shift in perspective. He currently trusts that the disputable centipede discipline is exactly what the U.S. needs, and even cases that it could support his possibilities of being chosen as the president. Prior to leaving, the lead representative compliments Bill, who plays had a vital impact in making the centipede discipline a reality. Overpowered with bliss, Bill and Dwight commend their triumph, completely mindful that their positions are presently secure. Nonetheless, as Dwight attempts to guarantee credit for the thought, Bill rapidly hushes him by shooting and killing him, so he can assume all the praise for himself.